Well, it's the final one. It is the final camp of World's End Club. So let's go talk to everyone and see what their thoughts are on the night before the final battle. I'm gonna stop Mike from getting its way. Goddamn right you are. That's my father's wish. So don't worry, Dad. Uh, does that seem a little small? Hold on. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, display of settings was weird. What's up, Nyoro? Why the long face, huh? Well, I mean, she found out her dad made Mike, so I mean. It's just, I've been looking at this photo I took with my dad ages ago. My dad used to smile all the time. Who's that little pip squeak? Who'd you think? That's me when I was seven. Huh? You're wearing glasses. Yeah, she wears contacts now. And? Well, what's wrong with that? N nothing. Nothing's wrong with it, but you just look so different now. She grew up. Because of my dad, I used to read loads of books. So my eyesight got pretty bad. But what about now? I wear contacts now. I can barely see a thing without them. Ha! Ah, so you're another four eyes like Tatsun. Kind of. Because she can kick your ass, though. Yikes! Pochi, don't you like girls who wear glasses? Well, I mean, he likes you, so I mean... No, you've got it wrong. With or without glasses, I think you're amazing. I figured you might say something like that. The smooth operator. <sighs> if we defeat Mike and save my father, I wonder if he'll smile like he used to. Probably. Oh, wait, hold on. Um. Oh, I'm just remembering the beginning of the game. Is that who we were trying to get to? We were trying to get to Nioro's dad. Okay. master so to speak aren't you afraid to fight it no not even slightly because i've got everyone with me you included yuki yeah we still haven't figured out your whole deal yet though I... I... <sighs> you've got a secret i don't know if i'll be of any use but i'm gonna give it my all You got a secret, Yuki. You're looking scared and terrified. If we combine our forces, defeating Mike's gonna be a walk in the park. Mike's like put us through so many horrible things. He sure has. For everyone all over the world, we've got to take Mike out. And so we shall, because the vanilla said so. I wouldn't assume so. A part of it was. Why did Mike lie to us about that? It didn't interrupt during the fate game. Hmm. This is just a guess, but maybe it was hoping our powers would get awakened during the fate game? That would make sense. It said that when our altruistic impulses reached their critical mass and erupted, we'd find our powers. So, if someone got into a tough spot during the fake game... Oh my god! I don't care what happens to me! I gotta, like, save them! Mm. Mike was probably expecting those kind of situations. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this is super frustrating! Feels like Mike had us in the palm of its hand! Kinda did, but so... But not for much longer. This time... Mike's gonna be the one in our hands. All right, you just wait, Mike. The tables are about to be turned. Flippity flop. Skippity scop. 
What a battle cry. Flippity flop. Now that we're finally at this stage, my heart's really pounding. I can't believe that chump tried to use us. Getting smart with us. I'm gonna make sure Mike gets what's coming to it. Hell yeah. Using the power of earthquakes. Once we defeat Mike, we can go back to living like we did before. Right? Kind of. Going to school together? Kind of. Yeah, for sure. If that's the case, we can give it another go, right? Huh? The Go-Getters Club? The school trip! We can all visit Kamakura together! I mean, you've technically visited all of Japan together, so... Under different circumstances, but still. So we're finally gonna make it into the enemy base. I guess there's gonna be hordes of enemies waiting for us. There sure are. <sighs> Get ready. This is just me trembling with excitement. Sure, buddy. Sure. Defenders of justice aren't daunted by evil. Oh, still one more thing to say. Mike referred to you as PCH01. What does that mean? It's my model number. PCH stands for Plenipotentiary Chaperoning Humanoid. Oh. They're pretty long words, and I'm not entirely sure what they mean. But I think it means that I'm a human-shaped robot designed to observe and think for myself. The other robots are completely under Mike's control, but I'm different. Hmm. Mike gave me the ability to make my own decisions. Mike trusted you, didn't it? Yeah, it probably did. Until now. But not anymore. Yep, exactly. I know that. You may be a PCH still, but the meaning has changed. Yeah, I miss Rachel. He was a blank, expressionless boy, but you know what? He had so much personality. Perfect champion friend. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks, Tatsun. But friend begins with an F. Uh, I mean, it could. It's been a long journey, but it's almost over. Mike, the thing that stole humanity's spirit. We're going to defeat it ourselves and bring back joy to the world. I'll bet that's what my sister would have wanted, too. Yeah. Well, what she really wanted to do was marry that dude, but I mean... Hey, Pochi. Mike called Rachel RCHE10, right? A uh, remote-controlled humanoid? That's Rachel's model number. RCH stands for Radio Controlled Humanoid. Radio. I think that part's self-explanatory. Not remote controlled. Radio controlled. E is for experimental. That's because Rachel was an experiment. Rachel was controlled by me. He didn't have free will. Now he's broken. <sighs> Are you blaming yourself? Hmm. <laughs> But if Rachel hadn't stepped in to save us, we might not have made it. <sighs> My beloved Hoseki Zuka Theater Group has a saying. The show must go on. He loved everyone. So everyone loved him. Pochi, let's take down Rachel's enemies. We can avenge him. If we do that, he'll definitely... Rest in pieces. <sighs> Yeah, I know. It's touching. Tomorrow we face off against Mike, right? I'm gonna roast my coal with my flames of love! You're what? Huh? Where are you aiming that love? That's... You've never called it that this entire time. Okay. 
Sure. You just wait, Mike, you scumbag! Cause we're gonna come find you and pummel you into the dust with a hundred kicks! Just a hundred. If we save the world, we're gonna be heroes! <laughs> so, Mike said that Rachel was an experimental version, right? Yeah, he was built before me. He's a really old model. Rachel couldn't think or move by himself. But what if we had a Rachel that could move and think for himself? Ah, so the fact Rachel never said anything... Yep, it's because he's an experimental model. Rachel didn't have any speech functionality. Ah, when we were fighting over who got to be leader, we argued a bunch. But he never said a word. It's true, he didn't. Want to know why? Because he couldn't. gonna forgive anyone who upsets Nyoro! And, you know, broke the world. So? Alright. Well. That's it, gang. Let's go. Hey, guys. Can I ask you something? Going to take down Mike. That was a unanimous decision, right? But where exactly is it? It is up in the sky. Ah, now that you mention it, the thing we saw on the school roof seemed like an illusion, didn't it? Possibly. I know where to go. One of the panopticons? Yep. Yep. Mike's mainframe is stored inside the Tokyo Panopticon. So we've got to get inside and destroy it. We can defeat Mike, right? Yeah. And at the same time, we should be able to deactivate the nanomachines inside everyone's brains. That is the hope. But how are we going to get there? That's easy. We have a spaceship. We can get there in that. Right, the UFO. Pochi, you know everything about Mike, right? No, not everything. Just sort of everything. I didn't know about Nero's father or the surgery in the pods. And Mike mentioned a subject, right? That was the first I'd heard about that, too. The girl Mike was studying, right? What is going on with the audio? Hold on one second. Okay, that was weird. Yeah. Anyway, the only things I knew about were the sheepification project, this trip, and Mike's whereabouts. I based my strategy on all the information I had. Strategy? A strategy for taking down Mike. Oh. My idea was for us to all go to the Panopticon together, with you all awakened and powerful after the journey. Oh, so he was actually rebelling the entire time. That was my plan. I'd be no match for Mike alone. That's why I needed your guys' strength. When you think about it, most of the way my intentions were the same as Mike's. We both wanted to awaken your special abilities. Wait, so you decided to disobey Mike before the trip even began, huh? Yeah, all the time I spent with you guys. He looks so cool now. How should I say it? I realized how amazing humans were. Thank you, Pochi. Eat up, Pochi. Looking forward to it, Pochi. And that's what's so cute about you, Pochi. Me and you, huh, Pochi? We're the same, huh, Pochi? If you insist, I'll hold you to it. Pochi, you're so kind. I love your smile, Pochi. The reason I thought that was because you guys still had your emotions. That's when I realized I had to stop Mike's plan at any cost. <sighs> but why didn't you tell us the truth before? Because he couldn't. Well, for one, I didn't want Mike to find out. Mike said that it'd wipe out the human race if his plan failed. Uh, 
No, but... But... Aren't you spilling the beans right now? Well, I mean, it's not like he's... He already has a time limit, so do or die. Yeah. What if Mike hurt us? Even if it did, it's no big deal. At this stage, I don't think Mike would be so quick to annihilate humanity. After all, it's gone to the trouble of awakening all your powers. That'd all be for nothing, right? A shepherd is nothing without a flock. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yep. But we've been saying we're going to take down Mike. If Mike somehow overheard us... He would never. At the very least, we'd lose the element of surprise. Mike must have some strong defenses set up. And what does that have to do with anything? If we combine our strength, we'll definitely be able to take down Mike. I love this new confident Pochi. Yeah, we can win this. Let's win this thing together. Together, we're invincible. That scumbag Mike. We're gonna bait it into submission. We're gonna crush it. Just to make sure, we're gonna head to the Panopticon tomorrow, right? Yeah. We should get a good night's sleep before the final battle. Final battle, huh? Yeah, it makes it sound cooler than it is. Looks like we're in for a tough fight. Although it will be pretty cool. If we're not all in this together, it doesn't seem like we've got a chance. I think we need a strong leader. Didn't we already decide that? That's the badge. The size leader badge. When I met Neon in Kyoto, I took the badge off, right? And I kept it safe. I figured we'd be in trouble if we lost it. Like the weenie fire? Mm, I get what you're saying. So what? You're the one who deserves to wear the badge, Pochi. Huh? Rachel saved our bacon time and time again. But... He was you. It was you controlling him all along. In other words, we owe our lives to you, Pochi. You're our hero, Mr. Pochi. Totally! You're the only one who can lead us. There's no one more qualified than you, Pochi. How about it? You gonna accept the role? Hot diggity damn, I'm gonna accept the role. Nah, we've already decided. He's got no right to refuse. Guys. Well then, you're now the leader of the Go-Getters Club. Hell yeah. I present you with this badge. <laughs> Not only that badge. Oh, Mojan, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a gift for those times you saved us. That is so cute. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So shameful! Totally disgraceful. Oh, shut up. What are you guys talking about? It's no big deal. You say that, but look how much you're blushing. Well, it's a little. You think so too, right, Mochan? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mochan. You like me, Arlo, don't you? No! Mocha. No, I see his tears. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it for it to happen like this, man. Well, putting Mocha to one side. I'm sorry. Hey, don't do that! Dude, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, Kansai, what are you doing trying to wrap things up? Pochi's the leader now. We've literally just decided. Oh, yeah. I'm counting on you, Pochi. Uh, okay. Well, then, here we go. 
Go-Getters Club? Hey! Hey! Oh! All right, here we go. Mike's mainframe is deep inside here, right? Yep, in the Panopticon central control room. Which is probably in the center. I hope you're ready for us, Mike. Hey, I remember this. Come and stick my foot where the sun don't shine. Well, you are wearing boots, aren't you? He is now loved and lost. That's the spirit. I knew we could count on you, Mochan. His heart may have been may, may have been hurt, but it did not break. Hey, like something weird's going on. Now that you mention it, we haven't come across a single enemy. Perhaps. Huh? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. We don't really have a choice. The central control room should be just ahead. So, this is where Mike's mainframe is? I think it's behind that door. Oh. <gasps> Everyone ready? Yeah! This is it. Alright then, let's do this. Yellow Loon! Long time no seafood allergies. That's right. It's yours truly, Pielope. What's up, Pielope? Sorry. What the hell do you want, loser? You're about as persistent as our vice principal telling his watermelon thief story. I don't give a crap. I'm sorry, PLP. Well, the vice principal's watermelon thief story is that I'm not asking. What are you doing here then? She lives here. Oh, I get it. You've come here to ask Mike about getting a raise. Maybe you're trying to negotiate shorter working hours? Yeah, I love these parts in this game where they ignore everything else and are just like the most sarcastic ass kids. It's amazing. Hey, we treat our workers fairly. If that's the case, then why are you here? That should be obvious. This is Mike's home turf. Anyway, for you sneaky intruders, I've got a punishment in store. Eh? For the traitor Pochi, something extra, extra special. <laughs> oh? That said, I'm no fool either. I know that in a fair fight, I'm no match for you all now. Which is why. It shall not be fair. Well, you know what? Whatever. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road! Alright, what is she transforming to now? Your final form. Oh! I see you're a Bloodborne boss.
it's transforming again. Okay, so I only have vanilla and uh, Chuko. How is this going to help? How is this going to help? Okay, yeah. Okay, I guess it's just telling me in case I forgot the abilities. Okay. Don't nope. stop blasting fire. Where are you going to appear? All right, you're over here. Go, 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 go. I'm getting real sicky, you know that? Okay. Okay. Jumping is ultimately faster, apparently. Time for the finishing blow. Pie! Pie is unlocked. Uh, if only I hadn't ran out of Karamucho. But you didn't. It's okay! I'm gonna end this! Impenetrable barrier. Okay, so I'm starting to see... So yeah, now I'm starting to see why in the beginning, uh... Like, you were told immediately, yeah, no one with no, who isn't awakened can stand against me. You literally can't fight this boss without your abilities. So, in the beginning... The beginning was a timeline where we weren't able to awaken all of our abilities, so we all just died. Oh, no! What should I do? You're good. Hell yeah. All right. The F bomb walks again. Oh, deflect. It's obvious it's copying our moves. Oh, okay. You know what? You're not really scary, Penelope. I thought you were, but apparently I'm wrong. No, it was inside your barrier. Come on, that's cheating. Like, you, you saw that. It was, it was one... Oh, I just killed myself. Okay, so don't do that. That's the lesson I'm getting from this. Did you really just walk into my bomb? Are you okay? Like, you walked into my first bomb. I didn't have to do anything. Okay, the, the pattern I'm getting is I have to p hit it three or four times. Right? Yeah, three times. Pass it off to him. Quit worrying. It's not your fault. But it's fine. Just get back. I'm gonna deal with this sucker. Look at everyone else just cool sitting there. Not like they have a choice though. Okay. Come on, come on. Bring it, I got a baseball bat. Come on, come on. You got nothing, nothing on me. You done, you done. What should I do? Don't worry, I'm not the same Mochon I was before. Yeah, you now know what true pain is. Iron Chef. <laughs> well, well, that's awkward. What the? 
Ooh, damn. Fun. Darn. I'm impressed. Nope. You're done. How are they all running out of like powers? I'm sorry. I wasn't strong enough. Yeah, I had the easiest time with you. What are you talking about? Don't finish that sentence. I know. And now the baton comes to me. I've got this. Okay, who's gonna come next? It's probably gonna be Aniki though, because Yuki and Pochi don't have any actual powers. I just want to know how how yours is gonna work. So just it, I just float into the ceiling. How does that help? Okay. Wow, you're bad at this. Um, why is it moving so? Oh God! Yeah, that was weird. I couldn't move for a second, but all right. I got this now. Sea urchin or chestnut in its shell? What are you talking about, Jenny? Ooh. Oh, it's bouncing to knock me off. That's dangerous. Oh, he stopped. Well? Come on. Are you coming? I'm right here. Come on. Peace. Come on. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't move again. I can't move again. Hello? Why do I get stuck? No, I... That's... What in the world? Hold on. Is it just because I'm stuck on the wall? No, I'm able to move now. Oh, finally. Jeez. What was going on with that? What do I do? It'll be okay. All my pent-up anger. I'm gonna take it out on that freak. I, I feel you there. I'm that was glitchy as that was weird. So yeah, Aniki, your anger's my anger. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, you freak! Oh, damn. Baiting your attack. Stealing your cheesy snacks. Oh, no. Okay. That was way too close. Come 
Is Onagi really going to be the one to finish him off? Come on, fall, fall, fall. I got too greedy. Got way too greedy. Onagi's ability is probably like the least useful. Well, okay, not useless, but like, it's just not as convenient as some of the other powers. Okay, come on, you just gotta fall. You gotta fall once. Come on, man. Okay. I push you outside the barrier, too. Get flexed on. Damn. I completely forgot about Tatsun. Sorry. I'm done. Hey, what are you saying? I'm Electro Ranger Black. I'm leagues above you. <laughs> What's that? You okay? Shut up. Just leave it to me, okay? <laughs> All right, Tatsun, Champion of Justice, Electro Ranger Black. Ooh, okay. He has a longer range than me. Should probably be careful of that. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna have enough range. Just gotta bait out his attack this time. Okay. Coward. Face the stun gun. Gonna be able to reach him? Yeah, I can. Okay, there we go. Po Pochi? Oh, can't believe it. I don't think I can keep going. Pochi, you didn't have any powers. Don't worry. Everything's okay. We've all made it this far together on our quest to defeat Mike. We can't let this be the end of us. I'm not gonna let your efforts be in vain. Are are you literally just gonna throw hands? I'm gonna defeat Mike once and for all. Wait. Oh, Wait. Wait. No, really. What can you do? Whoa. Oh. I'm gonna defeat. There's no way I'm gonna. Okay, I can't even get close to him. All right. Oh, got him. Or you could do that, I guess. Whatever works. Okay. That we took care of Pelope. What a dance. You know, I noticed that, like, I'm, I'm noticing, like, you know, the guys, they have different, like, it's almost the same, but there's a very obvious difference between the two. Huh. That's exactly why you're our leader. No, the only reason I won was thanks to you guys. It wasn't my strength alone that did it. 
Aww. I'm sorry, Pelope. That creep Pelope is totally busted, huh? <laughs> Pelope didn't know who it was messing with. Regardless, Mr. Pochi, that was super duper pippity poppity amazing! You're switching it up! <laughs> I've fallen for you all over again. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> yeah, Mo frozen up again. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Oh, Mo Chan, you were totally amazing too. Look, he's blushing too. <laughs> ah, you're all funny. But seriously, what's Yuki's power? is waiting for us behind that door that one right there it's time the final battle what this whole thing is simple not simple enough my friend we've just got to destroy that mainframe that's inside there right if we do that the nano machines and everyone's brains will get switched off the world It'll be back to normal. Yeah, and our trip will finally be over. It's finally, finally coming to an end, isn't it? Yeah. Right, everyone, let's go and confront Mike. What is it? Oh, it's a cage. Th there's nothing here. Where's the mainframe? Maybe it's buried in the walls or under the floor or hidden somewhere around here. No, that's impossible. Mike's mainframe is a bunch of linked up supercomputers. It's huge. And it ought to be right in the middle of the room. He made it invisible, didn't he? But like, it's not. No sign of it at all. But... Uh. Off you go. Wait a minute, Pochi! I want to see how far you can get before I, I press the button. Hey, Pielope, what's going on here? <laughs> I had you, you, you idiot. I'm com completely fooled. Lummies, <laughs> Pelope's really creepy. You know what? They nailed. They nailed Pelope. So Mike's actually in the name. It's totally on the fritz. So where's Mike? Okay, so essentially Mike is three people. Mike, PLP, and someone else. 
possibly uh, uh, Pochi, but that wouldn't make sense. Because if he was part of Mike, why would he rebel? But where's Mike's main personality then? The names is his piano, 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 son of a... Have you decide, decide, have you, did you, did you become shepherds, right? Because, 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 because if you ever have it, then I don't think, think, think Mike is gonna meet, meet with you. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way we're becoming shepherds. Yeah, that's right. I see. Mike, but Mike said so, 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 right? If you don't bec become shepherds. It'll bin, 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 finish, finish, vanilla forever. Mm hmm. What the hell did you just say? Finish vanilla? You do realize she's already dead? That's, that's not quite, 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 quite true. true. Yep. Because her main body is right there. Oh, it's in a different position the last time. You knew, knew that, 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 right? Vanilla's living, 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 and breathing. In other words, no, you're lying. Wait, wait, what? T -t 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 wrong. No need to look so dick, so dick, jet. Jesus. After, 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 after all, your body is still very much cho 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 But. But. <laughs> so then, yeah, we haven't figured out why she can do this, though. It's probably her power, but. Okay, sure. History lesson. Obviously, you guys rem rem remember what, what happened in August 1994, right? <sighs> Vanilla was hit by a truck. Yep. Yeah. But her body wasn't killed. So I was right. Ethereal spirit is vanilla's power. So the vanilla we can see is not the dead vanilla's ghost, but the living vanilla's spirit separated from her body. Yeah, 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 something like that. That, that. Well then, where's vanilla's body? Didn't I tell you already? It's over there. Vanilla Floa was seriously injured during her accident. So, she was put in that ch ch chamber to undergo med medical treat treatment. The treat 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 treatment was a complete success. There's no, no trace of her injuries. Okay, so she's fully healed. Then what the heck is she still doing in that thing? It's it for research purposes. Research? purposes huh so that was the subject mike was talking about yeah the subject was a young girl with anti-dehumanizing characteristics i carefully studied her brain and body and deepened my understanding of her but, but it looks 
like Mike isn't done with its research. To, to continue with its investigation, it, 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 it had to keep on preserving the nurse's body. So, I'll say it again, shall I? If you don't be, you don't be, be don't become shepherds, then Mike's gonna get me rid, rid of the vanilla. It'll c cut off the vanilla's oxygen. Well, stakes have gotten bigger, but we already kind of knew it was going to happen. In all honesty, the, the concentration of vanilla's o o oxygen supply is already be be dropping. That's that's why she disappeared. The, the reason she was able to use her ethereal spirit power was because because of her brain's special abilities. But now, but now, her, her brain cells are so slowly dying now. Wait, do you mean Vanilla is dying? For real. Well, she's not about to drop dead right away. She's probably got another 20, 20, 20, 20 hours. Are there, there's more to this game? You scumbag. Tell me where the hell Vanilla is right now. The, na the, na the name's Yellow. The name's Yellow. Hi. Damn you. Damn you. Aniki, there's no use. Shut up. Six What the heck? After the accident, Manila was taken into to, to a facility. She's still, still, still there. It's, it, it's, your it's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. What on earth? When you were having that barbecue, the vanilla didn't just carelessly wander into the road. The road. When she left, 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 left you, she spun in a truck, 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 speeding to where you all, where you all were, where you all. What? They made, made, made no sign of trying, trying, trying to break. In fact, they, they, they looked as though they sped up. What? They did kept go, 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 going. It was, it was, it was obviously going to crash right, right into everyone. That's why she jumped in front of the truck. Truck. So she, she was trying to get everyone to go to the store to get away from the truck. Kick. The name's Piello P. The name's Piello P. Howdy. 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 Goodbye, Piello P. Forever. Hopefully. Maybe. Six letters. Anyway, we need to figure out where Vanilla is being kept. Yeah, you're right. We need to rescue Vanilla as soon as possible. But how are we going to find her? With math. Oh.
Uh, did that happen in this timeline? Okay, so yeah, this didn't happen in this timeline. The Mike AI. The great Mike's main body. Is it stored there? Yeah, that's right. But are you sure you're okay? That's it. I got it. Mike's mainframe. Wherever it is, that's where Vanilla is. What? How do you know? Uh <gasps> He can't explain it, because it didn't happen in this timeline. Who cares? Are you sure about your hunch? Y yeah but even knowing that... Yeah, we've got no idea where Mike actually is. You know, actually, that's an interesting thing. Um, so Pochi just reminds me of um, Q from Zero Time Dilemma. Spoilers if you haven't seen Zero Time Dilemma yet, or played it, which you should even though it's probably the worst game in Zero Escape Time. We're not getting into that. Uh, anyways, so this is character Q, and in the in Zero Escape, there's always these um, these people that you, that called shifters or espers, whatever you want to call them, who can remember information from different timelines. Or your people who can transfer between different timelines. Mainly why I've been making the joke this whole time of different timelines. But Q is not one of those people. Instead, all of his consciousness is stored in a supercomputer. But that quantum supercomputer isn't all timelines. So he pulls information from all of those timelines so he can technically remember everything happening in different places. At least that's how I understand it. All I know is it's basically his central consciousness. Same thing's happening with Pochi, kind of. Anyways... Thinking on it isn't getting us anywhere. Maybe there's a clue somewhere in this panopticon. You're right. Let's split up and search. Got it! You'd seen it. Someone showed it to me. Someone from a world beyond ours. An other world. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The other world or has knowledge of a past I haven't experienced. Otherworlders, espers, shifters. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Because, because I'm in X type. What do you people? What do you call people with the ability to communicate with the other worlder? Oh, that is <laughs> that is evil. If you just did not remember it at all. Well, I want to see the hint first. Wow, what a, what a hint. Okay. That's right. I'm an X type. Hey, you're there, aren't you? Hey, what's up? You've been watching us all from the very beginning, haven't you? Indeed. So, you ought to know all about the situation we're in right now. <sighs> Please, you've got to help us. You're the only one who can help us. Otherworlder. Bet sweet bippy, my guy. <laughs> you can just say fuck it. Okay, so. You know what would be fucked up? Hey, 
Why aren't you saying anything? I'm asking you. We need your help. Can I just continuously do this? I need to see. Hey, I'm asking. Okay, fine, fine. I guess I'll help you. Whatever. Fine, I'll help. Thank you so much. We don't have much time, so I'll keep this brief. Where exactly is Vanilla? Before we get to that, I'm going to say one thing, all right? There's some things I know and other things I don't, okay? I, I mean, that's obvious. You're right. It's obvious. But it's very important because I, in fact, not... I am, in fact, an idiot. Huh? N never mind. Let's think things through in order. Do you remember what Pielope said earlier? I think so. Right. So those six letters are. Back in Dontabori in, Os in Osaka, Jenu said something. Or Osaka. The day after Vinlo's accident, you were all gathered in your classroom at school. And our teacher broke the news to us. Vanilla has gone to heaven. To heaven. Yeah. I've already heard that. That's what our teacher told us. So that's where she is, right? No, she can't be. She's still alive after all. Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth, you dipstick. You misunderstand. I'm saying that vanilla is in a place called heaven. But you're telling me that our teacher was being literal? Yeah. Probably. She had no emotions, like... Hold on. H-E-V-E-N. You realize it's only got five letters, right? Are you stupid? No, no. How do you not know how heaven is spelt, my guy? I say as I almost put a Y at the end of heaven. <laughs> it's H-E-A-V-E-N. Okay, thank you. Ah, all those heaven E references. Vanilla's in heaven. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. But where is this heaven place? Let's take a look on this computer. We'll probably be able to find some information. What? Don't you want to save Vanilla? Of course I do. Then get on the computer. Well then, just do as I say. You have access to Google to answer your questions. See, I told you it was no good. We've got to enter a passcode to access the database. Passcode. Passcode. Huh. Mike built this computer, didn't it? And Mike, in turn, was built by Nioro's father. So if you think about it, Nioro's father should know the passcode. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. Oh, smart. So, X, X, Y. Maybe that's the passcode. Well, yeah, remember how Mike described itself earlier? God. In other words, God's door essentially means Mike's door. But just knowing that doesn't help. The passcode isn't made up of letters. We've got to type in numbers. In that case, you've just got to convert those letters into numbers, surely. How do we do that? Like this. Let's take a look at the middle letter. 
It's not the letter X. It's the multiplication symbol. Do you get it? Oh yeah, it is different, isn't it? So basically, it's not XXY. It's X times Y? Yep. I didn't actually realize that. Okay. In this case, you should replace X and Y with the corresponding numbers. This, I actually don't remember. Can I... I can't remember this one, actually. X equals 12. 1996. 12 by 1996? What is... Okay, I've got to get my... I've got to get my calculator out for this. Um... 12 times 1996. Okay. Uh, 23,952. It was that... Wow. Yes, I got access. I feel... St well, I guess... No, the phone had the answer the entire time. I just didn't realize it. Okay. That was a very subtle clue right there. Great. Now you need to search the database. Use SQL. Is there anything related to heaven in there? Some coordinates or maybe even a map? Mm, what about this picture? It looks like a map to me. Nieva, the code. I remember seeing it somewhere. Ah, oh, I remember. The same code was written on the master scrap of paper. Ah. Try overlaying the images. Okay. Oh, I get it now. It's a map of some sort. Yep. Probably. But what area is the map of? Where do you think? I... I'm not... So, the code didn't say never after all. It says... Yeah. And with that, we figured out where it is. Just look at the terrain. It's impossible. It's unmistakable. It's Western Japan. It's back where we started. Which means... Vanilla is where the X mark is. Which means... She's in Kagoshima. There you go, champ. So we have 24 hours to get from the other side of Japan? Okay. We can do that. I see. An X-type, huh? Someone with the ability to communicate with the other worlder. But since when have you been an X-type, Hochi? I'd guess since the beginning. Since right before the school trip. The day before we got on the bus for Kamakura, I suddenly heard a voice. Oh. His ability is being an X-type. Pochi, I'm going to help you all. Then, this sudden thought washed over me like a wave. And in that moment... I understood absolutely everything the other worlder was thinking. And did they help you, Pochi? I mean, not to toot my own horn, but, uh, yeah. Of course. I think you guys know by now it was me controlling Reicho. But, honestly, during the trip, the other worlder was in control. I just operated Reicho exactly how they told me to. And not just Rachel, but all of you guys. After Rachel got destroyed, I let the other world or control me too. Huh? 
I mean, it wasn't all the time. Just occasionally. Just in emergencies. Yeah. Wait a moment. They were controlling us too? Mm, maybe. Yeah. You guys actually have the slight ability to receive the Otherworlder's instructions. But you can only receive, not correspond. Anyway, without the Otherworlder's help, I don't think we would have made it this far. Yeah, but it did take me a long time to get you this far, so I probably made your journey a lot more trouble than it's worth. Especially for the other, like, oh, Otherworlders that were watching this, so I'm sorry. That's an exaggeration. It's not at all. That's the simple truth. Without them, we would have died tens, hundreds, maybe even thousands of times up till this point. In some alternate history. Yeah, about that. Um... Anyway, the fact we've survived is all thanks to them. The Otherworlder traveled back right before we died each time. Let us replay over and over. I guess that's what Neon meant when he mentioned immortality. I mean, he's right, isn't he? None of us have died. Not even once. <laughs> yeah, these ones happened, technically. Hey, think you can wrap up the monologue already? Vanilla's life is at stake here. I know. Thanks to Mr. Pochi, we know where she is now. Takagoshima. She's in some facility called Heaven in Kagoshima, right? That's where Mike's mainframe and Vanilla are. But where in Kagoshima is this Heaven plate? I think it's probably deep inside the Undersea theme park. The X on the map was above Kagoshima Bay. <gasps> oh, so it was in that locked room. Now that you mention it, there was one door we didn't manage to open, right? Yeah, I think Heaven is beyond that door. You have to type in a passcode to open the door, remember? Don't worry about that. Seems like Pochi has already figured it out. The numbers you need to open God's door. All right. All we got to yep. do is hop in the UFO and head back to Kagoshima, to the undersea theme park. <laughs> okay, let's do. Let's go rescue Vanilla and put an end to Mike. Ooh, ooh. Go get her club. Hey, hey, oh. Back where we started. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> 